Okay. Hey, Adam Murray, how are you today? Hey, I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm just going with the flow. My name's mm -hmm. Rachel, I'm a social worker today. I'm um, with WSU. Um, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I am majoring in social work as well. Um, this is my third year here at WSU, so I came straight from high school. Um, Right now I'm working a full time job, but it's not a hard job. So like I don't feel like the stress of a full time job, you know, while doing school online. I'm actually living away from Wichita. So I'm doing all school work online. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And what else? Yeah, I, I feel like that's a whole workload. Just even, I mean, the whole online situation is just caught everybody off guard. So mm -hmm. people still have hybrid classes. So I bet it's even harder to be like all online. Do you like that situation or do you wish you were on ground? Like, what do you think? What are your thoughts on the whole virtual classes? Um, I actually i am one of the few that actually really likes um, online. I didn't think I was until I don't know I moved back home and I was around my family and I just enjoyed it and somehow like my schedule that I didn't even know I was gonna move back to Dodge um worked perfectly with my schedule of work and stuff so oh, that's it just awesome. balances out and it's great yeah that's yeah. awesome I, I'm the type of person who's like everything happens for a reason like everything will land on in its own place so I'm really glad you're that it's easy for not easy but I mean that it's it's it, it works out well for you that's that's really good to hear because I've heard very horrible stories about online classes mm -hmm. yeah it can get a little hectic but I manage <laughs> so before we start talking forever keep the conversation, <laughs> I want to um, make confidentiality do you know what that is um yes it's wherever like it just stays between us. I'm like, it's confident and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, you're definitely on the right track. Um, just if 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 I hear anything about you hurting yourself or somebody hurting you or others hurting you know other people, then at that point I will, I am a mandated reporter, so I will need to um, report those situations. So I just want to make that clear with you before we talk. Um, about anything else do you understand that like yeah and it does make me feel um more comfortable like opening up and you know just sharing anything yeah i'm glad because the conversation is between you and i like no one else is going to hear about it so you don't have to worry about um you know people judging you or any of that kind of stuff but i am totally against that like so whatever you yeah. have to you know just let me what tell me whatever you're comfortable telling me. Tell me whatever you're comfortable telling me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for letting me know. Um are, since are you busy with like like social life? Are you um your work you said is very very unstressful, so that's good to hear. Yeah. Well, since we're on the topic, um I've been having like kind of like stressed and it's nothing like related to school or work but more like personal life um I think I'm pregnant oh so feel. yeah um so yeah it's just like making me overthink and I don't I don't even know like I don't know how I would be able to tell my parents. It just, it wouldn't fit with me. <laughs> right. So, um, have you thought about other options or have you, have you, t t first of all, have you taken a test at all, like to be sure? No, I haven't. And it's kind of dumb of me to say it now that <laughs> I haven't even taken a test, you know, okay, but it's that's, just, that's, oh no, keep going. Okay. Um, it's just that, I don't know, I missed, I'm um, like a couple of days late, 
Well, more than a couple. I'm like, a lot of, no, like eight <laughs> days late, but. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, so I, he- I heard you're not comfortable with talking to your parents about it. Do you have like mm-hmm. a friend that you would maybe, um, well, having that conversation? Uh, yeah, I actually can think of a couple people that I can reach out to, and I know, like, it'd be confidential between us two. Um, I just, I guess I was just over, like, thinking in. I obviously, you know, need to take a test. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, the idea is always there, so it's kind of always boggles the mind. But, mm-hmm. yeah, if you're comfortable, you and uh, your friend should maybe go out by a pregnancy test or even... Um, to be more certain, you can go out to like a Planned Parenthood type of deal or like a health department for them to test you. Um, they are super cool too, so you don't have to worry about like it getting back to your parents or all kind all that kind of stuff. Um, do you know of any health departments around you? Yeah, yeah, I do know. We have, I think, one in town, so or more than one actually. Um, it's just kind of awkward because it's a small town, you know, so right. I don't know, eventually everyone knows everyone. It's just like, I'm kind of scared that, you know, it's going to rumor around. Yeah. And then, I mean, word spreads very fast. So um, mm-hmm. I wonder if we should make the home protest route rather than going out, <laughs> out there, if that makes you feel more comfortable. And I mean, if it, you're still not sure if it like was accurate or not then maybe you would need to take that extra step the actual like parenthood type situation to be for sure yeah I'll definitely consider that I'll definitely get that done as soon as possible because this stress is not it <laughs> it's I, like yeah, unwanted I, stress I think once you have an answer like closer to an answer that'll make you feel better and yeah relaxed especially and um I mean it'll probably help improve your um education get more mm-hmm. just be more have a clearer mind when you're doing that yeah it will definitely um I don't know I I hope it goes the way I want it to go <laughs> yeah you um if you if it's I can set up a um once you if you do want to take that extra step I can set up a Planned Parenthood um or health department um appointment for you get some contacts or um we can even maybe even do it at the school have the nurse do it for you that mm-hmm. more um secluded and not so more open to the um you're out of town sorry I forgot yeah, no. No, but um, I think I want to say that sometimes, like, I can go here, like, to the community college just because I'm a college student, I think. I'm pretty sure. But, yeah, I think that would be really great and nice of you. Uh, It's because... Dodge, right? Yeah, Dodge City. Okay, so that actually works very perfect because I have a friend down there who works there, so... I can get a talk to her and, you know, um, your whole, like, when we can set you up if you do want to go that extra step. If yeah. That's- yeah, thank you so much. For sure. I'm really grateful right now just because, I don't know, I guess I'm embarrassed. <laughs> oh, yeah. I could be embarrassed about, I mean, it's life, you know, so. Yeah. Um, stuff happens. I mean, we're just thankful that there's other options to go to when, if there's, if you're in that situation, you know, um, but, um, yeah, I would definitely contact her and, um, let her know the situation. Again, I won't mention any names or anything until <laughs> we talk to her. Um, but is email the best way to contact you? Yeah. Yeah. Email will work perfectly. Okay, perfect. And I think we've emailed um, to set this meeting up. So I think I ha- I'll have your email down yeah. already. Um, 
I'll definitely keep you in the loop when we're um, discussing that. And I mean, email me whenever you want with any questions, with anything. And if you feel more comfortable, we can even do this over um, the team Microsoft that right now. Um, mm -hmm. I'm more comfortable with you. Um, but yeah, just keep me updated on, you know, what you decided to do. And then if you want to go that extra step, then I can contact those people down there in Dodge and like um, something up for you. Yeah, thank you so much. I for sure will contact you, let you know what's going on, and update you. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, it was nice meeting you, Adamari. It was nice meeting you, too. Hope you have a good day. Thanks, you too. Thank you. Bye. Yeah.